Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about obedience, and we've already discussed the hierarchy of who should obey who, and how we can be deficient in obedience. Now, the other of the two ways to fail in obedience. Excess of obedience. Remember, excess of obedience doesn't mean that you obey too much. What it means is that you obey in instances where you shouldn't, or obey people who shouldn't be obeyed, or when they shouldn't be obeyed. The point where this becomes confusing is when the person in question is an actual authority figure who really should be obeyed under most circumstances. I'm going to use the example of Henry VIII again from the last episode. When he ordered the bishops of England to make him the head of the church, they had to make a choice with respect to who to obey, King Henry or the Pope and the church. The church's teaching said that no king could become the actual head of the church just because the bishops of his country agreed to let him be. The Pope said that he couldn't do it. The church's teaching said he couldn't do it. And since the teachings of the church ultimately come from God, God himself said he couldn't do it. In order to recognize which side to take in this scenario, all that the bishops of England needed to believe was that the church really was from God. Only one of them refused to name King Henry the head of the church. He was beheaded for it, and later declared a saint, because he'd made the right choice, choosing to disobey the leader in authority over him because there were other leaders who he had a higher obligation to, the church, the pope, and God. For this reason, he was named Saint John Fisher. However, while disobeying rulers can be the right thing to do, many people don't realize that disobeying some in the church can also be right, even those in very high positions. Back in the 4th century, there was a very devoted bishop named Athanasius of Alexandria who ran into trouble as a result of his strong views. He held the belief that Jesus really was God, like all Christians of today do. This was a problem for him because at the time, most of his peers were being influenced, to one degree or another, by a bishop named Arius. Bishop Arius insisted that Jesus was a created being, created by God to be perfect, higher than any other created being, but still not God. He proposed his ideas in the areas that he had authority over, and they began to gain popularity. He spread them even further by making them into little ditties for sailors to sing, and soon bishops everywhere were finding themselves pressured to consider this new notion that Jesus was not actually divine. The faith still had a few good defenders during this period, however, and one of the most long-suffering was Athanasius. He was sent into exile three times because of his hard rejection of Arianism, or the rejection of the belief in Jesus' divinity. Many times he was commanded to cease his efforts against Arianism by a couple of different emperors. However, things really came to a head when Pope Liberius excommunicated him. Athanasius didn't stop trying to combat Arianism even during the time of his excommunication, which was eventually lifted. Today, Athanasius is known as Saint Athanasius, and Pope Liberius earned a place in history as the only pope in the first 450 years of the church to not be declared a saint. Now, why did the church side with Athanasius over Liberius? Simple. Athanasius defended the true teachings of Jesus, and Jesus is an even higher authority than the Pope. Pope Liberius was being disobedient to Jesus when he came down on those who refused to agree with Arianism, and that disobedience needed to be rejected, as with the example above. Whether a disobedient authority figure is a ruler, a bishop, a parent, or even a pope, our obligation is to obey the higher authority first. Next time, are there any good reasons for obeying someone who's not obeying the higher authorities? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.